from the studio of South Asia Views. Meghalaya Democratic Alliance MDA government in Meghalaya on Wednesday, the 8th of March 2022, celebrates its four years in the government. Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma, along with the Council of Ministers, released a booklet titled Meghalaya on the Move, a report to the citizens on completion of four years of the MDA government. Speaking on the occasion, the Chief Minister said that over the last four years, the government has given the liberty to different departments to take decision on their own, which has enabled the government to ensure that all stakeholders were taken on board for the collective interests of the state. In presence of various ministers and stakeholders, the Chief Minister launched Meghalaya's first Early Childhood Development and Maternal Helpline 14410, which aims to connect mothers with the nearest government healthcare facilities for timely support in areas that concern child nurturing and well-being of both mother and child. The Chief Minister Safe Mother Scheme, which aimed to accelerate reduction in maternal mortality in the state, was also launched in presence of Health Minister James K. Sangma. He also launched the ASA Payment Gateway, an initiative to digitize the incentive payment process for the ASAs. During the program, Chief Minister along with Urban Minister and other ministers also launched the Aspire to and Skills Meghalaya program, an initiative of the government for the youth to equip them for the world of tomorrow. I think the most important part of the program was really to listen to the citizens of our state on uh, the different things that were done. And uh, we've always believed that uh, we should talk less and do more. So I don't think we want to break that uh, uh, principle also. But I must take this opportunity, first of all, uh, by appreciating and thanking the people who have made these last four years possible. And therefore, uh, I start with the Almighty, for really blessing us and guiding us in this last four years. And uh, many challenges have come our way, as has been mentioned by so many of our leaders. But uh, in those challenges and those difficult times, somehow there was always a guiding force that we could feel. And uh, I truly believe that he has led us from above to these difficult times and blessed us with all the blessings that we have seen in our beautiful state in the last four years. I want to thank our cabinet colleagues who have uh, really worked very, very hard and dedicatedly for all the work that they have done in the last four years. Also the Honorable MLAs who have also been individuals who have really focused and worked at their constituency level, our chief secretaries, our officials, and all the team members who have really made uh, the last four years possible. And I believe in a very small but a simple formula uh, and a principle that I follow a lot in, in office, and you will know why when I tell you. And I always believe that as a leader or as somebody who's managing things, the biggest challenge or the most important thing for you to do is to find the right people and allow them to work. Find the right people and allow them to work. Now that does not mean I don't want to work, so don't get it wrong. It simply means that one has to believe in your team. It also means that you have to allow your team to do what they have to do, believe that they will do the right thing, and give them the independence to make the decision which they feel is best in the interest of their department or their constituency, or whatever goal or target that they have. And that is why I strongly feel that the teamwork that we have had is something that has been great. And every individual has worked in their particular areas with a true sense of commitment from the studio of South Asia Views.